Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're starting a new game on the channel. This is Manor Lords, which is out today on Steam in early access. Uh, it's a medieval city builder, uh, primarily trying to settle a town and, you know, look after its people and stuff. It's got some interesting uh, little tweaks on the usual sort of gameplay. It's also got a little bit of a, it's like a total war light in places when you kind of have to raise your uh, people to be a defending army, um, which is kind of fun. Uh, but yeah. Let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, this is uh, my coat of arms, little red snail. That's us. Um, slightly older looking guy. He is going to be boring lord. Uh, that all looks good. I think let's just continue. Um, I think this is all stuff I kind of set up before. So we're gonna. I don't want to necessarily be a conquest victory, but I'd like an adversary to be present. I think. Uh, let's have a few raider for years. Um, pretty much everything else in default. Let's get started. Okay, so here's our little starter settlement. Let's see, new message. Brothers see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management. Well, we'll see about that. Let's see. Um, food and fuel, supplies, we've got here. Oh. Construction. Uh, what, what does it show? Like how much wooden? Oh, okay. So eight timber. Okay. These are our little guys. You can uh, zoom in pretty closely. See, so I can alter the camera elevation. Zoom out. Probably should get something going. I reckon oh, we've got a little uh, animal habitat here. Let's start off probably with a logging camp, make sure that we've got enough wood to do stuff. Be sure to check all resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before de deciding on the direction of your town. Uh, not quite sure how to do that, but let's just uh, get this started for now. I don't know how to rotate buildings, that might be something they teach us. Um, every time I try I accidentally cancel it. So let's do that. Uh, unassigned families work on construction automatically. Overlay. Oh, okay, so... Ooh. What's Emma f fertility? Flax fertility. Barley fertility. Rye f Okay, so I'm not sure what Emma is. It's obviously a crop of some kind. We've got an iron deposit there. Uh, timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. Okay. In almost all cases, resources in Manor Lord have to be physically moved. It can take a moment. Uh, no, that's fine. We're here to sort of play at a fairly sedate pace, I think. Roads. Some workplaces allow villagers to use handcarts. Uh, yeah. So let's... Um, snaps too, so that's good. Let's just plan out like a little route. Uh, kind of... Yeah. Where's the hitching post? I don't know. Let's go there. Yeah? Uh, now how do I say build it? Oh, there we go. Cool. So let's zoom in. So our little uh, Bloxham. Not doing much. I thought he was going to go and collect some wood. Anyway, so what's this stuff at the top? Exposed goods. So we need a storehouse. Uh, vulnerable to weather damage, we need a granary. These people wait for more burgage. Okay, so burgage plots are housing. So, what do we kind of want? Where do we kind of want the scent? They probably need like um, some logistics. Hitching. Hack station. Maybe like a little storehouse or a granary. That's two limber and ten. T uh, limber. Lumber and ten stone. Okay. Let's build a little granary, so because we don't want our food to spoil. Where should we put it? Um, let's pop it down there for now. There we go. Um, probably want like a little store, probably, uh, maybe near the granary or like there. I'll make a little road to join it. A little sort of storage area. When they've done those, we'll work it out. Oh, hang on. It's just rotate. Ah. So F and G are rotation. I wonder if that works on buildings too. Let's have a look. 
No. <laughs> That's. Ooh. I pressed H. Some buildings have flexible borders. Yeah, I kind of know about that. I did that in the demo. Uh, marketplace. That actually doesn't provide space for the sign families to set up stalls and distribute their produce to the burgage plots. Uh, oh, okay. Plot points. So we probably want that to be like a little... The market to be kind of like a centerpiece, really. What's this? Berry deposit. Okay, how do I get people gathering berries? Does it something? Does it just happen automatically? Ah, workers gather berries from nearby berry deposits. We should get this going. Oh, rotate. Oh, okay. I, uh... Oh, you hold down the button and do that to rotate. Okay. So let's put that down there. So we'll make use of those berries. This building has no assigned families. Uh, which one? This one. While human workforce has to be assigned by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. Okay. So this is logging. How many people do I actually have? It says or, yeah, okay, so now there's three unassigned. That's fine, let's do that. Don't need to assign anyone to the storage, obviously. Message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honour against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumours and slanders that some may spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebolt von Berenreut. Uh, right back. Dear Baron von uh, Berenreut... Uh, I don't really want to... No, that's fine. Oh, this view shows you which regions are under whose control. You can press, press claims to other regions when you gain enough influence. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to challenge him yet, honestly. Which one's me? This is me, isn't it? Waldbrand. I changed the name of that. Now we're going to need burgage plots. I kind of wanted the, the timber is going now. I wouldn't mind that being built next to kind of just get a bit of food stuffs coming in. Obviously, we need to build the storage. So once these, I think once these things are built, uh, we will, um, yeah. So how do I? What we can, well, the great thing about Manor Lords is we can uh, go down to ground level. Have a little wander around. He doesn't look much like my avatar. I don't know if you'll be able to customise this later. I can run. Let me just go and sort of inspect things. This is the hitching post. They're building granary, I think, here, currently. See the oxen delivering some timber. Ah, cool. Let's go and investigate the timber camp. This is where this is where they're living at the moment. Gonna appear in their tents. Yes, very interesting. Uh, can I jump? I can't jump. Let's go and have a look at the lumber camp. This is one of the interesting tweaks I think it has on you know the general formula. I've never seen this before, apart from this game. Just having an avatar that can go down to ground level and just wander about. The only one I remember that I've played that's anything like it is uh, Mega Aquarium, which is this uh, aquarium, indie aquarium management game. And you can actually enter first person mode there and kind of wander around and uh, check out your exhibits. Near chopping. Where are they chopping? I want to see if you can actually see people as they're chopping the trees. Yeah, let's go for now. Okay, let's escape out of that. How are they doing? So we've got a granary built. Oh, it's almost built. Almost built. How are we doing? So it's it's currently spring year one. Uh, still March, so we're not doing too bad. Might be good to plot out where we're going to have the marketplace. I mean, if we... where? Are, how do I get the overlays back? Uh... 
help map on me. I don't know, I quite... Uh, um... Oh, granary's done. That's good. So I'm, assu I'm assuming they'll transport the stuff into the granary. These supplies. We've got the storehouse. Do I... Some useful overlays there that told you, like, kind of the fertility of the land. It was all pretty good. What else can we build? So we've got the residential stuff. So we're going to put burgage plots down, probably a well. Uh, eventually get to a tavern, I suppose. Corpse pit. Oh, dear. Uh, we've got farming stuff, so we could do a field. Okay. Industry. Bloomery. There's a lot to do. Administration, settlers camp. We can eventually get our manor, uh, but we need to build the village level up first. Raise shrubbery. Um, got mines as well. Stone cutter camp. Where is this iron or stone over here? Did it say that's an iron deposit? Do I have any stone deposits? I got some there. Have I got like a like a hunter sort of thing? Woodcutter, saw pit, forester hut, hunting camp. Yeah, we probably want that there too, don't we? Oh, we don't want to over... Doesn't sound like you want to overlap it. Probably worth having that there. Okay. Oh, the forager hut's up. So, I've got... Okay, well, let's put one there for now. I still want a fair amount of timber coming in. So, like, how are they doing down there? Too bad. Uh, storage is is built. Do it? Does it need people in it? I don't know. I mean, you can put people in it. Yeah, let's put one there for now. And then we'll have one in the hunting camp when it's when it's done. I don't, do you put anyone in the granary? Maybe you do put someone in the granary. Well, let's put someone in the granary. Let's take one person out of the logging camp. Family requests more market areas for their store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that is a, I did mean to do that. That's in residential, I think. Marketplace. So where it was kind of kind of kind of be the hub. It's kind of what I was trying to get at before. Uh, maybe over here. So let's, um, if we kind of... Little market area there. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's space. Uh, the burgage plots closest to the market get the things filled first. Okay. Let's uh, let's pop a road down. We probably want like a road, kind of going all around the market, really. I mean, it's it's not quite square, but it'll do. Um, we kind of join it at that point, and then we'll I think we'll build the housing kind of out towards this area. How's the camp coming on? Hello? Building, I see. I think you're hammering in the wrong place. I mean, it seems to be working, but, uh, swings. Little of a swing. A bit high up. Don't know how the children will reach it. They build quite quickly, don't they? I mean, it's not, I mean, it's a rudimentary construction, obviously, but, uh, let's go up quite fast, which is nice. I guess that's finished. Right, let's come out. So I'll have to assign someone to this. I think we've got one family spare. That's good. We've got some food coming in. We've got storage for our goods. We've got some timber being made. Made? Well, you know, cut down. I think it's time to make some, some houses. So I'm going to maybe have kind of a road... 
coming off there to begin with. And Burgage Plot. Is that good? Is that a good... Oh, is that a good Burgage Plot? I could maybe... Bigger that way. There, how about that? We'll do one at a time. I don't want to sort of over... I don't even know if anyone's free to do construction. Yeah, so we're going to have to take someone off temporarily. Uh, okay. Let's maybe take off the hunter for now. We've got the berries. Nice to get everyone a house to begin with. Approval at 45%. Public order 100%. Regional wealth 50%. We have one livestock. Number of months before supplies run out. Well, we're doing all right so far. I think they've moved all the supplies into the storehouse now. So what's this? Yeah, so we need... Um, we need that. How do I... I mean, I know how we get more families. I just want... They, they might need a house before they start producing more families, I suppose. People tend to tend to value that sort of thing, I guess. What else have we got? Trading post. Okay, we might. Well, when it comes, when it's maybe in autumn, we might need to put up a woodcutter's lodge so people don't freeze in winter. Saw pit, tran transform timber into planks. Okay. I think I don't think I need uh, planks just yet. We're sort of still at the timber level. Oh, that's flying up, so maybe we should plan out another one. We can have a, like, a little neighbour opposite. do in preparation is kind of have like sort of roads coming out between the houses to aid any further expansions down down this area another look, uh, sort of aerial look so we've got the berries kind of, been, kind of being taken care of the resources have I got got clay stone iron well that's pretty good isn't it alright so that oh okay so that, that is my Aldebrand, Goldhof, Hofstetten, Zweiau, Eichnau. So where was that guy who was trying to... Trying to send me mean letters? I don't know. We'll get into all that, I'm sure. For now, let's just try and get a functioning settlement going, I think. Got a little burgage block coming in. Oh, what's that? Is that birds? Can't see them. That's very peaceful, I must say. I feel like your front door is kind of in the opposite side to what I intended. But never mind. Touches. We'll need to take the foundations deeper for this one. <laughs> need to make the foundations deeper. Right. Homeless will move into the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space. Click on the building to check their residential requirements. Okay. So we're going to need the firewood and stuff now. If I remember, we could do stuff with these plots. We could, uh... Oh, probably going to need to construct a well, looks like. I 
I thought we could we could sort of tell them to grow stuff. I don't know. Anyway, we should probably build that well. You can. Oh, okay. Hang on. Money to change the rotation keys because Q and E is is what my brain is telling me it should be, but it's not. Uh, so that's the underground water flow. That's pretty good. We could get a well. We could have one sort of next to the market there. Yes, it's coming along very nicely, everyone. A little market stalls. Let's go and check out the burgage. Can I go in? I can't go in. They were... Can I use the facilities? Oh. Now, it is early access. I might want to, like, quick save and stuff fairly regularly, just in, just in case it crashes or something. We don't want to lose stuff. Oh, they've got people in the marketplace now. Hello? Can I buy stuff? Well, I am your lord. You should probably just give me stuff for free, thinking about it. This one's getting almost finished. Can I go in while they're still building it? No. Looks like they don't want their landlords just wandering into their houses. Oh, is that finished? I saw a little people plus sign as the in. Okay, cool. So we need a few more of these. Uh, they'll, they'll probably go and do the well right now. So let's plan out another one. Oh, it's auto saving. That's good. Is that the arrow telling me where the entrance is going to be? I think so. Is very. Oh, okay. So, hmm. Entrance needs to be there. That's okay. It's on the road, so that's fine. Working on the well. How are we doing in terms of food? That's our fuel, so we should. We, we've got a little bit for now. Uh, food. 20 berries, 16 bread. Okay. We click on the uh, forager hut. Had a herb garden. We'd need planks for that. We, I, th I think, sort of people is currently our our squeeze point. So we want we want to get our population a little bit up. This is probably a renewable source. This. What? What's their name? <laughs> I can't say that. I'll get demonetized. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm change your name, wouldn't you? But I think. Is that the well? Granary. Okay, that's the granary. How's the well coming along? They're probably, they've probably... Have they gone off to work on the new burgage? I think they have. Yeah, but I think when you can upgrade these, and we're going to need settlement required. Yeah, okay. Small. So we're not a small. We're not even a small village yet. Does it tell you what your town level is anywhere? Uh, yeah, we're currently settlers camp. So we're when we have all our burgage plots, we'll be a small village, and then we can upgrade them to like grow certain like food and stuff in their gardens. It's quite cute. well as well. The well as well. Let's uh, let's go down and have a little look at the uh, forager's hut, ground level. A family who could not be named in public anyway. Huh. Nettle. It's like my garden. Everything started going a bit mad growing in the spring. Need to deal with it ASAP really. Um, so what are you doing? You're loading in some berries into your little handcart. Take the little berry. Well, whoa, hello. <laughs> it's a magic worker. 
Where do you take those berries? I reckon you're going to take them to the granary. Let's see if I'm right. Don't mind me. Just uh, pretend I'm not here. Get on with your job. Show me how this all works then. Can I get into the cart? Oh, it's like he's uh, pushing me around now. Like a little rickshaw. Why do I have to carry this alone? Okay, pop that down the little granary. We've got bread and berries down there, I can see. I'm gonna unload those now. I guess that's what happened. He pulls the cart in and it gets unloaded. That's quite cool. Alright, is that the well finished? See a little smoke coming out of the, the houses? That's kind of cute. Looks finished. Cheated him? Never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook properly. <laughs> I like the little chatter you get as you're walking around. Is it me? Or is that hinge this is coming along. Anything I can do to help? Get this moving along. Just the front door. Is it me? Oh. Or is that hinge a bit stiff? I wonder if if I'm standing in here where it's completed, do I get trapped? Probably. Just give me a hammer and Seal me in the walls. It's not really big, is it? Little windows. Just give me a hammer and something needs to not move. They're sealing me in. Oh, I, I can't get out. Oh, I couldn't get out there. Oh, hang on. It's kind of a bit funny because I think they're finishing that wall as I was in it. Ah, uh, I can't get out. I think I think it would have sealed me in if I'd uh, hadn't tried to. Test out the other walls. There, that's basically done by the look of it. Where am I? Okay. So, let's put up another one. Bit big. Let's sort of keep them like about roughly equal size. Ooh, why has it got like a little extra thingy in it? Maybe we'll have another one coming down here a bit. Make it pointy. Why would you make it pointy? Let's do that though. Good. Well, when those are built, everyone should get housed at least. Let's look around. So, do we mine out the clay? Mining pit. Iron ore and clay and stone. Yeah, I think as I, as I said, we we kind of once these houses are built, we're gonna just let people kind of populate the town a bit more. I think. You actually see the animals. Oh, you can look. You got deer and stuff. Let's go and have a look at the deer. Hello. I'm your lord as well. Oh, I wonder if I wonder if the hunting grounds uh, repopulated. It'd be nice if they did. Yeah, they're not bad looking deer. So we should probably mention at this point, for those who didn't know, this is actually the work of a solo developer. I think he's been working on it for about seven years so far to get it to early access. 
Um, and it's it's looking very, very promising indeed, I think, even at this stage. I mean, the, I mean, the demo was impressive enough when I played it. It was like probably almost a year ago now. Um, but yeah. I think if this is your sort of game, this is the sort of game you'll like, <laughs> as they say. Now, are you guys working on these last two? Because we need, really need to get these underway. Oh, we're in April now. Yeah, timber needs to be a bit... Well, I, we've been using a tim timber a lot in the uh, construction. Let's see, I'd like to get a woodcutter in as well to... Uh... Oh, it's raining. I mean, it's ostensibly in Germany or, you know, a German-like place. But this feels very much like the English spring springtime weather. You get your sun and you have your rain at the same time. Kind of defies logic, but that's the way it is. Box of birds. Very pastoral. It's very nice. And I like that you can kind of set up your game so that if you don't really want the combat and fighting elements, you don't have to have them. I've kind of added them here. I, I, I kind of added them to the point where I thought it might be good to you know, kind of be in a position where we needed to kind of defend the settlement at times. I didn't really fancy a conquest playthrough. I think my speed's going to be more have a nice have a nice village or ta and or town. Um, but, you know, there is, a, there is a little bit of threat as well. You know, you, you can't neglect your defensive stuff. Oh, look at the little details. It rained, so we've got little muddy puddles on the ground. That's kind of cool. Almost feels like The Witcher, doesn't it? Witcher 3. <laughs> Except this is a city builder. I say city builder. It's, uh, maybe we will get to city status, but it's... Uh, we're definitely on a smaller scale right now. We've got three houses. We really need to to get this moving along a bit quicker, guys. Oh, lightning! Now, don't feel you have to work harder just because I'm here. Actually, do feel that because we really, we really, <laughs> we really want. Really want to move the building along a bit. I guess they're leveling out the ground for this other one first. Where is the builder? Little window's funny. I guess they let in a little bit of light, but not too much weather. I guess this is pre glass. I don't know if it gave sort of a, a rough idea of year. I would imagine we're sort of looking at. 11, 1200s, that sort of thing, maybe. Maybe earlier, maybe a bit later. I think I'm armed. I think I've got a sword and a knife. Nobody mess with me. Cheated him, never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook properly. You haven't made many sales yet. Anyway. How are we? Uh, how are we doing? Yeah, work's definitely slowed down a little bit there, is it? Because, uh, well, I have got... I have got timber. But we, maybe we should check out the, the speeds. If I whack it up to fastest. Oh, look at the weather. Oh, they're building that one first, are they? Okay. Again, like a little lean to her. Oh, interesting. I think it was slightly more ground in this one. That's why they were able to do that. Perfect. So it's April still, and we are now a small settlement. To get more population, you need to have empty burgage plots, and your approval needs to be over 50%. I guess not currently. 
However, that should surely increase because nobody's going to be homeless now. Armament delivery. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived and you will now be able to create your first militia, militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them. Okay. I'm not going to worry about militia right now. Um... Oh, it's the hunting camp. So we haven't got any... Why, why are people still moaning? Homelessness. That's just a recent thing, is it? Okay. Well, I think we should probably build a vacant plot. And we might attract someone else. Okay. Yeah, I was definitely a bit stingy on space on these ones. Can I, I don't suppose I can amend them now. I drag out the corners at all. <laughs> can you edit? Demolish, pin. Yeah, I don't think we can edit it. Clothing stall supply. Church level zero. So okay, so they, they do have a like a religion need, as you probably would expect. Tavern. Could have a wooden church, but we need planks and stuff for that. Uh I don't suppose we've just got like a small shrine or something we can put in. Smithy, yeah. We'll get into farming when we get more people, I think. And we're, and we're not going to worry about the army just yet. So what's this? This is the farming stuff. Residential. Yeah, we'll get to planks when we've got more people, I think. I think what I'll do is get the, uh, when this is built, get the hunters going again. I mean, food's not looking too bad. It's mostly berry-based, I'll be honest. How, how is our berry supply? Not looking too bad. We're, I mean, it's, it's still growing at the moment, and will be for probably the foreseeable future. They're 49% now. Market food variety. But I think when this is built and we're bringing in some meat and maybe we've got another stall there, I think that will probably help. Um, let's refuel. Generic storage. Pantry. Oh. Yeah. Now, how many logs do we have? We've got eight timber. So... Well, requirements not met yet. Summer's coming soon. Soon. Wonder which one. Requires refueling, probably that. We could do this one. So. I think it's size. I reckon those ones aren't big enough. I reckon I've botched it. Okay, we'll have a couple of bigger ones anyway. Demolish and start again. It seems a bit mean. Wish I could edit it. Just drag there. Because there's no reason it had to be that small. Maybe later. So these things, how do they... Oh, okay, they're, they're, they're upgrading at the moment. And the workers have gone to take care of that now. Rather than build the new one. Yeah, I reckon that's it. I reckon these aren't big enough. Now what's this? Number of months before supplies run out, too. Okay, fuel is starting to be a little bit of a concern. 
So maybe instead of getting the hunting camp going, maybe I should get the woodcutters going. So this fell trees to make firewood. Okay, maybe we should do that. And maybe we could... I don't really want to do that where I pick the berries is the only thing. All the wildlife. Maybe we could have that over here. Yeah, because we can join it up with that road there, can't we? Right, we'll do that. Yep, it will speed up again. It's in May now. Year's ticking on. Okay, so that's finished. They're upgrading that. Oh, let me, let me come down to normal speed again. So, fuel stall supply. Yeah, we're a bit worried. We're a bit worried about the fuel. However, this is upgraded. What does that mean? Ooh. Oh, okay. It tells you where its people are. <laughs> okay. What have we got? Yeah, we got space. I don't know if it's changed now for this reason, but in the demo you could say you'll, you know, you can have a little market garden to grow carrots and that sort of thing. I, I can't see the same thing here. Maybe I haven't got there yet. I don't know. It was quite handy. Yeah, don't know. Maybe at a high level? Not sure. Maybe it's still not big enough. Okay, so he's going to finish that off. Yeah, are we doing this yet? We're not doing that yet. Okay. Well, let's get these things finished off, and then we'll... wait for someone else to move in, I suppose. So does it tell you how much uh, resi- Okay, so it's up to 50% now. So that's good. Hopefully we'll get some more people coming. So we've got five families, basically. Um, is there, I think that's ten adults. Or was it ten guys and five women, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure if- they're counting children there. I've got, but I've got space for eight, so we've got a bit of room to grow into, and I can expand this one as well when the time comes. This is the thing we really need to get going now. Here's an oxen. So we want someone in there. Well, this is the logging camp. We, we're going to need a road going between these, aren't we? Otherwise, it's nuts. We're going all over the place. There we go. Well, I don't know. I, I, th I think they take the wood from the forest, but I, I guess they got the option now. They're quite far away from the storage is the only thing. They'll probably take the firewood straight to the marketplace, maybe? Hmm. It's quite pleasant, isn't it? Let's go down and have another little look around at ground level. 
So where am I at the moment? I'm in my sort of residential district. There's the market. Okay, there's the market. Yeah. Should have made the houses a bit bigger, these ones anyway. I kind of thought they were, but I was a bit stingy with the space. You kind of got this road, and then here's where they make the firewood. Cozy. Oh, has he got. You're going to start chopping a log? Don't let me stop you. Oh, mind out. You nearly had my fingers off. Bloody hell. <laughs> that turned into a lot of firewood. Store it there. This is heavier than it looks. I bet. Oh, magic axe. Watch him cut down a tree. Gave the old ox a handful of mud bowl crap. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. Oh, God, it's chopping it this way, are you? Trying to kill me. Very branchy one. What do you do now? Oh. You're doing that here, are you? Oh. You come back and get the rest of it? Oh, look at that. Interesting. Okay. Sunny again now. Taking shape. Okay. Uh, still don't have any more families. Approval's going up though. Quite a lot of timber. Keep that going. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there for today. Uh, I'm enjoying this. This is uh, it's going to be more of a relaxed series, I think. There's not going to be a huge amount of uh, drama and rushing about getting everything done. It's going to be kind of we're going to gently build up this town. I wish I could rename it. We need burgage plots level two or higher. Okay, what do we need for that then? Maybe we need to tick all this thing off. Maybe? Seems like quite a lot to have to do. So to look at that church again. Twenty planks, and to get our Saw pit. Yeah, I mean, we might as well make it. Um, I guess they probably store the planks in here. So we could... We kind of build that there. I'm going to have to... Well, let's uh, depopulate the logging camp for now, because we've got quite a lot of timber in, in storage. Um, but anyway, we'll do this next. We'll do this next time. So I'll just say uh, thanks very much for watching this first episode of a Boring Dad's Manor Lords playthrough, early access. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we'll come back next time and uh, hopefully get some get some more people in. Would be good. Maybe we'll be able to fill up all the industries that we've already got going. But anyway, if you have enjoyed it, as I hope you have, if you get it the thumbs up button, that'd be amazing. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game so far. Is it something you would play? Is it something you'd enjoy watching me play more of? I mean, I'm intending to keep playing it for a little while yet, uh, but your thoughts would be very welcome. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.